Oh, I think. Well, yeah, I'm not sure that's going to happen. Oh. I'm just not sure that's going to happen. I, I can't believe it. I don't know. Jesus. Well, I mean, all indications are they. Come on. Just use the I'm like, like it's right on. Huh? No, I don't I don't want to be Theo. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you here tonight. We proceed each council meeting with a word of prayer and pledge of allegiance. If you would like to, please feel free to join us. Miss Evie, can I ask you to Sure. Pray? If you'll bow with me. Our gracious Father, we thank you so much for all the blessings that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for this city that you have blessed us with. We just ask, Lord, that you make sure that we make the right decisions and at the end that you will get the glory that you are so deserving of. And we pray for our city and all over during the holiday season. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I call this meeting. <coughs> Mr. Garrett, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Hawkins? Here. Mr. Grimes? Here. Mr. Cummins? Here. Ms. Mel? Here. Mr. Ledbetter? Here. And Ms. Isby? Here. Okay, you should have received copies of the November 14th, 2023 City Council uh, minutes. Any corrections, changes, or comments? Make a motion for approval as submitted. <laughs> second. We have second. a motion and a second to approve the minutes as submitted. No further comments? Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Passes six to zero. That's correct. 
We're good. That's, you guys are a long way down there. We're yeah. way yeah. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have our monthly financial reports. Mr. Winningham. This the report will end. Uh, will end October. Is for the. I'm sorry. Yeah, the October 3rd. Yeah, that's right. October. Good evening, everybody. We've got a pretty short agenda, so I might just talk a while. Is that good? No, no, no. no it's all right. Right. You know, keep it brief. Uh, in our uh, general fund, the first page there, the revenues and expenditures. You'll see in our uh, advow revenue, we got a good, good deposit there for the first sort of tranche of the property taxes that folks were paying. Uh, next month, when we look at November, November will be the biggest month all year. So it'll be be a really good number next month. Uh, sales tax, it was up a little over 5% this month after two months of being down. So we were glad to see that turn around for us. And year to date, we're up 3.6% uh, compared to last year. Uh, moving on down there, the franchise fee revenue, you can see we've almost met our budget there for the year. I think it's, uh, was it 97 94 94 percent of our budget we've collected uh, so I feel confident we'll hit that number and then bottom line we're, we've got uh, just shy of 1.6 million dollars in net revenue through October and if you kind of go down that far right column which I've, I've kind of been pointing y'all to this year 83 percent would be the average uh, 10 months over 12 and you can see we've beat that number in the revenues and we've stayed under it in expenditures so i think we've done well so far this year uh, if you look at our street fund and the revenues and expenses uh we've got sort of a section there of turn back revenue we've got state tax turn back other severance and then wholesale those look a little bit out, out of kilter so to speak what happens is the state just gives us a, a per capita number to budget and then the best I can figure out based on previous year's revenues, I divide it up between those sources and it looks like I need to do a little bit better job. But if you add those together, we are exactly at 83% for the year collected. So just thought you'd beat somebody to the punch there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if y'all start doing math, I was going to have to have a comment ready. Uh, moving on to sanitation, our revenue there, there's my 97. We're at 97% of our budget collected uh in sanitation through october but the the insurance proceeds and the proceeds from sale of asset have no budget so that kind of skews that 97 percent number but if you look individually all of our line items we've either uh, collected at or above yeah. that 83 percent average or we've already met the budget for the year so i feel good about uh, sanitation uh, in our airport fuel sales uh, i think i think i heard Mary, correct me if i'm wrong i think i heard jake say this is yeah. Is this our best fuel sale mm -hmm. year ever? So fuel sales have been really, really good. You'll see in the expenditure uh, section, we've gone over the budget for the fuel that we buy, but we've already been talking about that amongst ourselves and we'll come back to the council in January with an ordinance to clean that up after we know exactly, exactly how far over budget they went. And then you'll also be able to see what the difference was in our uh, fuel sales versus expense to sort of kind of justify spending as much as we did and then the last page our project funds we didn't have any significant significant activity there so i didn't have anything to talk about but that's all i've got mayor any questions for mr winningham i make a motion to approve the financials second i have a motion and a second to approve the monthly financial uh, ending october 31st of this year any further discussion mr gary all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Passes six to zero. Thank you, sir. Next up, we have a public safety committee. Uh, we have first, I uh, don't, oh, let's see. Yeah. Consideration. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm trying to think if I've cut Mr. Hawkins out tonight. I don't see anything from you tonight. You, Mr. Hawkins? Uh, I'll just take a nap down here if I'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to enjoy that. I can speak up a little. <laughs> First, we have a, a vote to consider to approve waiving all three readings of ordinances on the November 28, 2023 City Council agenda. Make a motion that we waive the three readings. Second. I have a motion and a second that we waive the three readings tonight. Any further discussion? 
Mr. Garrett. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Passes six zero. <clears throat> First item up is a resolution to approve an agreement with Pro Track and Tennis and Corp. Inc. I'm sorry, for the Parks and Recreation Department. Mr. Thames, how are you, sir? Good. Good evening, Council. Hope you good guys had a good Thanksgiving. Do what? Good job on the lighting. The other oh, thank you. All wind is planned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're looking to approve um, and accept a proposal from Pro Track and Tennis to repair all eight um, and resurface the tennis courts at the Conway Tennis Center. That, that center is used a lot. So mm -hmm. kind of, can you kind of tell the council and the folks at home what this entails? Sure. Um, so the repair and resurface, we haven't done this since the center has been open. Um, we typically want to do this between every six and eight years, so we're hitting that mark right now. What they'll do is the company will come in, power wash and clean everything off, repair any cracks or any major, um, I guess, crevices throughout the tennis courts. After that, they'll come back, they'll paint and resurface. Um, just kind of bring everything back up to standards as it was when it was first opened. It stays busy. It does, absolutely. Yeah. Do we know what this might cost to do this? So this proposal um, was for $85,250. Thank you very much. Any questions, Council, for Andrew? Make a motion for the adoption of the resolution. Second. I have a motion and a second to adopt this resolution with an agreement with Pro Track and Tennis Inc. for the Parks Recreation Department. Any further discussion? Mr. Gary. This will be resolution R2369. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Passes six to zero. Council B2 has been removed tonight, so you can take that off. Next up is an ordinance appropriating funding. Funds received for the Conway Animal Welfare Unit. We have a new face tonight. Come on up mm -hmm. here. How are you? Uh, Animal Welfare is requesting that we move nineteen thousand four hundred and excuse me nineteen thousand six hundred and forty nine dollars and seventy two cents from Adval tax money uh, for the purchase of two uh, four container uh, slide and dog boxes for new units that we purchased. Uh, we did have money allocated in twenty twenty two for the purchase of these vehicles, but. We weren't able to acquire those vehicles. 2023, the costs went up, and so we didn't have enough to cover the slide-ins. Okay. Thanks, sir. Council, any questions? You look good on television the other night. Thank you. You did a good job. Appreciate that. Yes, yeah, we, we're hearing good things. Council, back to you. One thing I, I wanted to note too, and maybe you want to tell anybody who's watching about how you're encouraging people to adopt between now and January 1st, is that right? Yeah, we're trying to, to be creative about how we're marketing our animals, mm -hmm. as well as asking people for that help, uh, encouraging people to use their voice and sharing our animals so that uh, we can try and push those adoptions. We're trying to actually focus and target those. Good. I make a motion to approve the ordinance number. 023-100. I'll second. We have a motion to second to adopt this ordinance to amend the Title VI of the Common Municipal Code regarding animal control for the animal welfare unit. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Passes six to zero. Thank you, sir. Keep Thank making you. good work. Appreciate it. Council, the last item we have tonight is an ordinance appropriating funds for the employee bonuses. This is a substantial raise over what we normally do, but uh, Mr. Winningham and the department heads have done a good job in keeping our budget in pretty good shape. And uh, I'm just a firm believer that uh, our employees are the best, and that's where the rubber meets the road. They're the face of the city. They're the folks that get the work done. And uh, so I asked Tyler to uh, to see if we could fund this. And he, he said we could, so uh, it's a thousand dollars for full-time employees and five hundred dollars for part-time employees. I'll make a motion for the ordinance uh, 023101 along with the emergency clause. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt this ordinance along with the emergency clause for appropriating funds for the employee bonuses. Any further discussion? I just would echo what you said. Um, I think our staff are our best resource that we have, and mm -hmm. I am just glad that we are, were able to this year come up with more for them. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you, you look at the work that all the departments mm -hmm. do during bad weather and, and clean up and, and just day-to-day -day operations. They're, they're good folks. They do a tremendous job for this city. Mr. Garrett. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. The Mercy Clause? Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Those both pass six to zero. Council, that's all we have now. Ms. Mel, did you have a question you want? Oh, I just w wanted to ask about the status of the emergency shelter and how soon. Ms. Rogers? And she is here with the answer, or <laughs> mostly the answer. So we anticipate opening the shelter before the Christmas holidays. We have a few small items that we're preparing for, but the shelter will be ready before the Christmas holidays. So and we'll send out a date and time for an open house and a ribbon cutting, and then it'll be open, open and ready. Wonderful. Great, excellent, thank you. When is our, uh, remind the council when our employee, employee banquet is? Yes. It is. Is it the 15th? I think it is. It is the 15th, so December the 15th is our end of the year uh, employee appreciation party, mm -hmm. and I'll send you details on that this week as well. Good. Good deal. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Council, that's all I have. I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. We are adjourned. Thank you.